हाई एवरी वन सो इस वीडियो में हम यहाँ पर बात करेंगे अबाउट टी सी एस एन क्यू टी एग्जाम ऑफ ट्वेल्थ नवंबर ओके सो विल डिस्कस अबाउट ट्वेल्थ नवंबर एग्जाम ऑफ टी सी एस एन क्यू टी ओके आई एम कीपिंग दिस वीडियो इन इंग्लिश सो एवरी वन कैन अंडरस्टैंड द फर्स्ट थिंग ओके फर्स्ट थिंग इफ यू हैव अटेम्प्टेड टू डेज एग्जाम यू नीड टू कमेंट हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन यू डिड इन क्वांट रीजनिंग एंड इंग्लिश ओके ऑल्सो हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन यू डिड इन एडवांस and how many questions you did in coding okay overall we will discuss uh, about everything about today's exam okay exact coding questions which they asked today okay so everything we will be discussing in this video so uh, this is the video with today's full exam analysis many candidates are worried about the exam also how was today's exam everything we will be discussing okay so let's start this video first of all make sure to like this video okay make sure we need maximum likes on this video we will be doing the full exam analysis then we will be solving the questions also okay so let's start first of all for foundation obviously there are total three sections which each and every student got we are starting with the foundation section the first was maths second was reasoning and third was was english okay it was same there was sectional timer okay i want to tell you guys there was sectional timer so there is timer given okay and i like i screamed it a lot of times the most important part of tcs nqt exam is time management okay time management just remember my words how many times i said in my video each and every time i have spoken this word the time management thing is most important part in tcs nqt exam and if you have given today's exam you also realize uh, you guys must also re uh, have been realized that the time management part is the most important part in tcs nqt exam if you have managed your time very very well then your exam must or should went very well okay so maths reasoning english again three parts let's starting with the maths so for maths what is the initial feedback okay so actually i got feedback from many students the numerical ability okay numerical ability ability okay this was the most hard section for this time okay most hard section for this time okay if we compare uh, with all the sections like there there is verbal there is reasoning and there is numeric this was the most hard section for this time last time what they did is last time the numeric uh, abt section was easy to medium difficult but this year they again increased the level and the level of the questions are like uh, around similar to the questions you will be getting on test book okay test book ssc cgl so around that kind of questions they have given okay but don't worry much about it i will explain you so two ci questions were there one si question was there data interpretation was there mensuration question was there okay also uh, the feedback i will be uh, telling to you guys okay overall the syllabus was same which uh, we have told you but the questions are lengthy okay lengthy in this section and this section was one of the most hard section for whole overall tcs nqt exam okay the most issue what the candidates faced in this uh, particular section is the first thing the question for some uh, for some questions the stru structuring the structuring of the questions were little bit confusing okay little bit confusing okay second thing the calculations are very lengthy calculations are very lengthy and the questions are lengthy in the nature okay the questions are lengthy in the nature second thing the time which they have given was not much enough for the question as they have given 20 questions which you need to solve in 25 minutes okay so time was little bit less uh, if we will uh, see this section but the main thing is if you are going with this section what you need to do is first like uh, if you are starting with the first question you actually need to select like which question you are fi finding that you can attempt that okay so that you can at least uh, go uh, till the last question and you can scan like which question you are finding that are easy that are doable by yourself and th i think uh, th that is the main part okay and overall for this section and this time the feedback i am getting okay e if you have uh, uh, if you have done 10 plus question that is so kind of a lot of score for this time okay 10 plus questions is a lot of score for this time for numeric ability question if you have given the exam i think if you have done six to seven questions okay that will be i think fine okay that will be i think fine okay the good score i will say if you have done seven plus or if you have done six to seven around okay i think this should be the cutoff the initial feedback which i am getting so according to six to seven should be a mark 
okay uh, which which should be a like uh, I, I think uh, a five table score okay and if you have done seven plus like if you have uh, given seven or eight answers totally correct if you have given nine nine answers or 10 answers totally correct i think it's a good score so if you have scored between 7 to 10 i think it's a good score if you have done 10 plus it's a great score and i think 6 plus score would, uh, would be enough to qualify for uh, tcs okay so 6 plus i am expecting here uh, after seeing the cutoff and overall things uh, but this is the no, this is exactly not the exact same cutoff okay i am just giving you my predictions okay based on the feedback which i am getting i think 6 7 6 7 uh, uh, is a fightable score okay and if you have done 7 plus i think that should be a good score okay 7 plus uh, should be 7 8 plus should be a very good score in this one okay because this time the numeric ability was the toughest okay let's start with reasoning okay so this was a laddu section this time a very very laddu kind of section so actually many candidates did very great in this one and this was the easiest section this was the easiest section this time and many candidates did great okay there are around if you have given today's exam there are total four to five arrangement questions were there also three to four statements related questions were there statements conclusion statements assumption so eight to nine questions are there from only from these topics these two topics okay then from other topics there are the 10 to 11 question but the arrangements and statements and uh, that syllogism topic was very very important for this time because eight to nine question they did ask only from this topic okay so as i also mentioned in the weightage this is the same thing which i also mentioned in the weightage right when i created the video that these two topics are very very important overall the uh, section was very very easy for reasoning okay for reasoning many candidates did very great but uh, what uh, 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 I uh, saw from many of the candidates easily many candidates did 12 plus questions okay the level was easy only the setting arrangement questions was tricky apart from the setting arrangement questions overall the uh, questions are easy from uh, reasoning not very easy but overall easy level like it is good it is doable many even uh, i got from uh, messages from many candidates they did 90 20 questions from this like full question they did uh, uh, out of 20 to 20 questions also they did who had like a good practice okay so 90 20 questions they also did so it it was good okay it was good and uh, i am hoping if you have scored 12 plus in this okay i think that would be a good score in this one okay 12 plus would be a good score okay because the cutoff will be a little bit high in this one because the messages which i got from many candidates the they uh, easily done like 14 15 question 16 question and uh, that kind of so i think 12 plus score will be good for this one okay now talking about english so english was moderate level not easy not hard why it, it was moderate level okay only thing is reading comprehension i as as i already mentioned earlier also this was very lengthy and time consuming the time given was 25 minutes okay and no antonym synonym questions was asked okay okay so many candidates who have purchased my uh, course also they asked me sir why you have not included antonym synonym first of all this is a luck based thing okay preparing this thing is just waste of time okay antonyms and synonym because in antonyms and synonyms what, what uh, the main thing is what is your vocabulary what is your in, uh, like uh, instant instincts that that, that will uh, work better okay and however they did not ask from in this shift any question from that reading comprehension again most asked apart from this jumbled paragraph most asked okay so jumbled paragraph and reading comprehension we already provided many mock tests for this one to practice also we have provided uh, a lot of things okay so reading comprehension was lengthy okay and this was the only thing uh, which was like little bit difficult in english because the paragraphs are very very lengthy and after reading the paragraphs giving the answers was a little bit difficult okay but overall this section was good and also for this one 12 to 13 score will be good if you have done 12 to 13 score that will be good this question uh, the uh, levels uh, level is also moderate in this one now coming to the advanced section advanced question there is logical quant and two coding question many candidates were saying tcs told us three coding questions but no three coding question only two coding questions were there okay logical and quant two coding question again see here advanced aptitude was fine it had arrangement question four to five data interpretation question i already told about this right i already said 
all the practice paper which I provided to you, I included the data interpretation questions in that. In advanced section, we have conducted, I, I think, two to three live tests, correct? I have conducted that and all in the two to three live tests, I have included the data interpretation questions like four to five, right? So four to five questions they asked uh, from this and then uh, arrangement questions were there, okay? And uh, this kind of section was there. So there are some arrangement questions, there are from uh, data interpretation. So this kind of question were there. Overall, it is an easy section only, okay? The level of this section was easy than foundation so again the question which uh, got asked in uh, foundation was tough and this question was easier than foundation like very easy than foundation okay so th uh, this was for this one so if you have done like uh, 6 plus I think 6 plus will be little bit less okay uh, I think 7 to 8 plus I think would be a good score in this one to get digital okay to get digital and I think if you have done 10 plus, I think that uh, would qualify you for prime. Okay. But also depends upon coding. Okay. So that also like depends. Okay. Second thing, uh, let's come on. Uh, let's come to the most talked point, which is coding question. Okay. So coding question, uh, coding was easy when this first one was easy one. So it was like there was some circular Kriya m equals to 4 for n greater than 0. We need to practice Kriya such that it will vanish two neighbors. For example, if n equals to 2, if Kriya 2 practice, uh, then it will vanish x minus 1, x plus 2 and x also. Uh, example 1, 3, uh, 1, 3, 2 will be vanished. We need to find the maximum sum of the values who will not be vanished. So this kind of question. Okay. Second one, a king encrypted a list of a string in such a way that will be hard to decode the encrypt string. He decided to take the string to encrypt for that. He will use a table to encrypt like A equals to 1, B equals to 2, something like that. To encrypt it, we need to find the key which will be available in the string to encrypt itself. I have just given a rough idea of the problem statement. I did not remember completely. So something like this. Okay. So both the question, don't worry about it. I will come with the solutions for both the questions. Okay. But as uh, the questions are not much clear, I will be just solving the, the similar question only what they have asked. Okay. So first was this one was easy one, but the only issue with this one, only issue with this one was actually the input thing. Okay. Input thing. Input again, again, they did with the input. Input was tough for this one. Okay. Because the input was not uh, like uh, clearly mentioned. Input was tricky for this one, the, uh, the first one. Okay. Second one was hard one. Okay, this was at actually hard question. Okay, it was actually a hard question which they asked. The first question was a simple numbers plus logic question. Okay, it's number plus logic question. Okay, so one student who passed this all all the cases told me it was a simple logic question with numbers. Okay, he did pass with it. Second question which I got the feedback is it was like uh, one question uh, what uh, one student like mentioned. Uh, 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 messaged me that he passed all the test cases for this one but I need to discuss about this thing uh, in little bit detail okay so let's discuss about this one the first question okay let's talk about the first question so actually in this question many candidates used a lot of mind but this question was a logical question with maths okay logical maths question so actually students tried a lot of things in this one like a lot of algorithms and everything they have tried but it was a question which uh, need to solve using the maths formulas okay using the maths formulas it was not which in uh, in which you need to create uh, algorithm okay so it was like based on the maths formulas so something like that uh, uh, was it but if you did not got uh, get the logic you will waste your like overall 55 or 30 uh, sorry 35 minutes for this one okay you will waste your all of time okay because many uh, candidates thought that this question was from permutation many questions uh, many candidates thought it was from around factorial but nothing like that okay it was a fa formula uh, based question okay so first question they asked so I will say it is a luck based thing because if you crack the logic in one go, you will you can easily do it. Okay, but if you will not crack, you will try a lot of things. You will find this question very, very hard and you will not able to do any single test cases. Okay, second one was actually hard. Okay, second was uh, one was actually hard and uh, it was uh, the question uh, which required a lot of logic. Uh, it is related to encryption decryption. Okay. 
also i searched uh, some logic about that also uh, but uh, i will be coming uh, coming uh, coming up with the solution now the main part is for coding question how many test cases and how many um, the main thing which i want to talk about because many uh, many candidates are getting confused for this one only because uh, Currently, I received the feedback from around 10 to 12 uh, candidates. Okay, I will just give you a proper idea. So around uh, uh, with 10 to 12 candidates, currently I uh, talked okay on WhatsApp. From all the candidates, from 10 to 12 candidates, eight to nine candidates did not pass even a single test case. Okay, even a single test case for both questions. Okay, so yes, for coding question, it was a big blunder because like from this ratio i can say easily i can say if 100 percent students have given the exam around 80 percent candidates even have not passed a single test case in any question okay i can easily say that book okay but now let's talk about remaining 20 percent okay so for remaining 20 percent candidates i still have a doubt that candidates solved both the coding question because after getting the feedback what i think is most of the candidates i think around 95 percent candidates okay 95 percent candidates did not solve the both questions okay from my perspective which i have seen is 80 percent of candidates have not passed even a single test case for remaining 20 percent candidates okay from remaining 20 percent candidates i am just hoping that 10 to 15 percent candidates did something in the first question they passed some test cases and in the second question i do think only five percent candidates passed some test cases okay this is the initial feedback from my side if there is uh, because recently when i am shooting this video okay only one hour uh, like happened for the exam so this is uh, my initial perspective only i think uh, five percent candidates did something in second coding question or pass some cases for first coding question it could be around 10 to 15 percent candidates uh, but both coding question i only do think only two percent or three percent candidates must have done it okay but this should be not a selection criteria obviously so if we talk about uh, the coding questions expected cutoff and everything so what i am thinking is see it is difficult to talk about the cutoff for coding question now because um see for ninja obviously the coding question doesn't matter okay for ninja only foundation uh, section is required advanced section is required for digital and prime after seeing the performance obviously the advanced section was easy it will also affect uh, to get selected in digital and prime see if you have even passed some cases in first question if you have passed some cases or you have done first question very high chance to get digital okay even i think if you have completed the first question there are chances maybe you will get prime if you have done very good in advanced section suppose your score again listen what i am speaking if your score is very very good in advanced section and if you have completed one question in uh, coding there are chances maybe you will get prime because for coding question this year the feedback was like this type okay second thing if you passed some test cases in first question there are chances that you will be getting digital okay but it should not be only one case or two case at least like three four cases if you have passed then digital yes there are chances if you have passed some test cases okay by the way if you have done one or one plus question okay one or one plus question because uh, till now i only received the message from one candidate who did both questions both question he did okay i think yeah i think it is very very good score to get prime okay if you have done one plus question but this time uh, in coding if you have even done less than one question i think yes there is uh, there, there is definitely high chances for getting digital because obviously they will be needing some candidates for digital and it should be not in the ratio what we are ge getting in the feedback okay so this one is my analysis okay everything i have talked about actual question i already gave you the idea this kind of question they did asked okay so let's i will come with, uh, with some more videos with the actual things and thank you so much for watching